Well, we live in Austin. We know coffee and tacos are a popular Austin duo. So this morning, we're getting a look at some of the spots that are serving up both of those things. Tierra Newbaum is live in North Austin at her first stop of the day. Good morning, Tierra. A tough assignment for me today. Coffee and tacos. This is exciting, James. Progress Coffee. You guys are an Austin staple. Been around since 04, but have a new space and uh, some fun things going on. So can you tell us a little bit about Progress? Sure, yeah. Thanks for coming out to this morning. Um, so we've been roasting in this space for over 10 years. Wow. Um, and we just finished this build out, this nice new roastery cafe. So if you can see on the other side of the wall there, we roast our coffee. And on this side, we have our, our cafe. So we have a full, full coffee program. We have cocktails, beer, and uh, we get pastries and also have a couple of food trucks out back. So we kind of put it all together in a nice new spot. And, uh, you know, okay. everybody Congratulations. Can check it out. Congratulations. You guys just opened in Buda over the weekend. We too, did, so. yeah. So did a soft opening in Buda. We'll do the grand opening next Friday. So that's a new, fun, exciting uh, thing. Follow Progress Coffee on Instagram to follow up on details on that or yeah, how can people right. find so out? We have Progress Coffee and then we also have Progress Coffee Buda now uh, on Instagram. So. Okay, good to know. And we can head out back here. What makes Progress Coffee? coffee different. Why did you guys start roasting beans back in 20, 2004? Yeah, so we had the cafe on the side in 2004, and in that time we just realized how much, um, you know, how much goes into sourcing quality coffee. We wanted to be able to control all that ourselves, uh, and so in order to put out the product that we wanted, we started, we started roasting coffee here. Uh, so we started roasting coffee here in 2009, um, and have been doing that all that time, and so just kind of use that to focus on Growing the business and, and solidifying our product. Good morning. Look at this. We're getting deliveries as we sit down. This looks amazing, Chef. Thank you so much. So, um, what are some of the food trucks and, and trucks that people are going to find here at Progress? So, we have what we think is one of the best uh, awesome food trucks, Pueblo Viejo. Absolutely. Uh, uh, so, if you know, you know, right? If so, you know, you know. Yeah, it's absolutely. Awesome so, uh, Migas, tacos, guacamole, the whole bit. They obviously don't do just tacos. They have full plates, which is amazing. Uh, so they're here. They're open at 7 o'clock in the morning every day. So they do our, our morning service. And then we have little Nana's that does pizza in the afternoons and evenings. So we have a full uh, food offering all day long through the different food trucks. I know you mentioned it a little bit, but um, can you break down some of the beans for us and what makes these special? Sure. So we have... Um, worked to create some some blends and then we also source uh, some single origin coffees direct trade with some farmers in Honduras um, so these Honduran coffees are all direct trade uh, that we get directly from from the farmers and then some of these others are staple brands and staple blends that we've had uh, for about 10 years yeah so we have a loyal following that really look for these uh, specific blends that we've had and we uh, source coffee from all over the world and roast it right here so it's delicious Yep. I can attest to that. I'm a black coffee drinker, and I just want it hot, black, nothing in it, and it's so delicious. What events do you guys have going on? How can people get involved with what you guys have going on here at Progress? Yeah, so weekly we have Beaks Who Drink, and then on the weekends we always do live music. So usually uh, Friday and Saturday, and then Sunday afternoons we also have kind of a brunch-style live music uh, for people to come hang out, have a taco, maybe a coffee or a drink, and uh, listen to some music. Um, and then we've been uh, doing different events you know on the weekends throughout we're, we're about a mile from the stadium so we're hoping that people kind of stop by yeah before or after a game oh uh, great so, idea yeah, football season's coming up and you know oh we, yeah it starts we, this it yeah. starts on saturday it, so come here fuel up or exactly. uh, come post game and grab an ice cold beer and some water it's gonna be hot out there right, it will james be hot. thank you so much i guess we should dig in yeah yeah okay coffee and tacos in austin duo Casey, Amanda, I'm going for the veggie taco this morning. We'll send it back to you in the studio. That avocado looks oh, really, really fresh on that veggie oh, taco, oh. and that tortilla looks really, Doesn't really good. It? I'm sure the coffee smells it's good. Oh, I know. Fine. Yummy. Smell it does. When I walked in this morning, I was like, wow, it smells amazing in here. Yeah. I'm surprised here you don't put stuff in your coffee. Mm. Just black, huh? Black is straight. Nope. Uh. Yep. Straight. Nothing fancy. <laughs> mm, so good. <laughs> Thanks, Vera.